know, it's, it's interesting. I think when the banners were up um, and I was listed as one of the speakers, I got a flurry of calls asking, what are you doing there? <laughs> what do you know about them? Better be very careful. Those people, you know, human beings are very interesting. We judge what we don't know. We have an opinion on everything, whether we know it or not. Then we carry the Holy Bible and say, in this we believe. But the book says, judge not that ye may not be judged. That leader whom we all aspire to emulate, Jesus Christ, asks us to limit our discourse to yea or nay, because anything other than that would lead to falsehood. So if you don't know, you don't know. It's not a crime to be ignorant, but it is a crime and I think His Excellency said it here, to say what is untruth, because your words carry weight. And we judge each other, we judge ourselves, not us, we judge others. We don't see the fault in ourselves. We don't see the, the heavy burden that we carry, and we look at the, 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 the small pebbles on others. But what you attack most in others, look carefully, you find it more in yourself. For me, the critics are hypocrites. The first question I ask is, the brotherhood, do they hurt anybody? They say no. Do they believe in that universal creed, love God with all thy heart and all thy might and love thy neighbor as thyself? They say, perhaps. <laughs> I said, okay. As long as they're not known to hurt anybody. And this space that we call earth is our joint inheritance and we live at peace with them, then I will identify with them. The hypocrites amongst us will wait until when it's time for elections, then they start finding their way to Ambo. <laughs> They're looking for endorsements. They go, they go under the cover of darkness. By day, they're in other churches, other churches. By night, they go like, you know. I'm here midday. <laughs> because all I seek is our collective good. That we as a people, we as creatures of the almighty creator, we serve his light, live in his creation in harmony. That's all I seek. You know, my first um, distant contact with the Brotherhood was in the 70s. I grew up in Lagos, you know that. But I had family who lived at Umbukba, Lincoln Street to be precise. And so, occasionally, when my father would bring us to Calabar, so that we're not too distant from where we come from, passing by Umbukba, Ambo Street, and going on to Lincoln, I would see people in the white garment Oh, 
that strong in Calabar. You know Calabar has storms. This was a storm. You said there's power and there's power. <laughs> there are storms and there are storms. This was a storm. We were driving through, trees were falling down, blocking us, we were reversing, going the other way. You know, someone, one of my aides in the car said, Excellency, let's just go back and rest. <laughs> I said, no, let's go on. It was raining. You know when they say it's raining cats and dogs? I think you'll put some hyenas and lions in this one. It was really raining. But we found our way there. And I was... Um, met at the entrance and led into where our leader was. And he saw me and burst out laughing. <laughs> he burst out laughing. And he spoke to me in ethic. He said to me, oh, you are not afraid to come. Uh, I thought you, I put that ring there to frighten you, to make you really want to come. I said to him, well, you know the, the story of Christ and the Sea of Galilee. I think the storm and all that. But since I was coming to see you, I said, Salama Yahanam. <laughs> In other words, what will be, will be. <laughs> we had a very good discussion. He was lying on the bed and asked me to sit on the bed with him. I was honored. He told me a few things about myself too. <laughs> but what struck me more than anything else was his humility, his calmness, his friendliness. Those who had painted a picture of this, I don't know what word to use. Everything was so simple, so... The conversation I came for did not even last a minute. We spoke, I was there for about an hour. 59 minutes we were talking about every other thing. One minute we had clarified the other thing. You know, 2,000 years ago, we had Christ on earth. And the same things were said. They painted him as a heathen. They painted him as one who came to dispute that which he came from. But in his understanding and his humility, even on the cross, with the piercing of his palms and the soles of his feet, he said, Lord, forgive them. They know not what they do. With Neither Olumba Olumba Abu. I felt that Cross River State was indeed blessed to have him in our midst. You, you know the saying, he was in the world, but the world knew him not. Today you've asked me to speak about leadership and the meekness of might servant leadership the question is who is a servant it's from the word serve 